A Charlotte mother accused of killing her four year old daughter and then hiding her remains. The mother now facing multiple charges, including first degree murder in her daughter's death. Investigators believe Malika Bennett killed her four year old daughter, Majelic Young, back in early September. Detectives came to Bennett's house off Braden Drive last Friday after people told police they hadn't seen Majelic in months. Lieutenant Crum says life inside this home was an abusive environment. According to court records, Bennett has pending misdemeanor child abuse charges from a case last year when officers say she left her nine and seven year old children at home by themselves for more than 24 hours. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Majelic Young, who goes by the name of Jelly, who was killed at the hands, allegedly by her mother, and buried in the backyard while her mom went on acting like she was mother of the year, like she is just moving mountains for her kids, all the while she had a child decomposing in the backyard now i'm gonna get into the details of this story but before i do that i want you guys to know if this is your first time here my name is neek and over here we are the night owls okay we talk about a various amount of topics from serious to gossip and all in between with that being said now let's jump into this video and talk about this crazy story that has been trending on Facebook about this woman who basically killed her daughter, not only that, but buried her child in her yard, in the residence that she lived at, okay? And then had the audacity to take to social media and act like she was the world's best mom. She's posting posts about how, you know, she's the most dedicated mom and she'd do anything for her children. She's posting selfies on the ground, flicking it up like all things is good in Hollywood. And it is just crazy to me. And it's upsetting me and my homegirls how you could just off your child and act like everything is peachy clean. On May 17th, just recently, like days before they discovered the remains of the child, she is in her front yard, her daughter in the backyard decomposing, and she want to tell Facebook that she is sweet like candy? Like, what? Baby girl, what is going on? Like, sweet like candy and tastes like fruit? Can I love on you? Like, you should have been loving on your child and then got the nerve to be pregnant again. I mean, she must have knew jail was coming or something because she even reposted a post on her thing six days ago talking about, um, I'm about to walk into one of the best chapters of my life and I'm so ready for it. I mean, she must have been ready for jail and knowing that she needed to sit her butt down and start her healing process. But going even further back from that in January, this heifer had the audacity to put up a post and proclaim like she is mama of the year. So in January, she posted up a post that says having a baby is literally like wearing your heart outside of your body. Y'all think y'all are crazy about your man. Baby, you have no idea. I'd still kill lie and die for my kids with no hesitation and that's the scariest part about motherhood knowing that in that moment you would do anything be anything they need you to be my love for my kids is limitless unconditional and cannot be moved feeling the love I have for them has allowed me to better understand the love God has for us and that's on period Child, sweetie, you wrote this after you put your daughter in the dirt. Oh, what? I'm going to tell y'all some more about this story, but let me let y'all listen to the deputies give you guys a rundown on how they came about to know that the child's remains was in the backyard. Uh, someone reported that they believed that a four-year-old girl uh, had been missing for some time. Uh, we got the uh, dignity investigation, uh, this four-year-old victim, uh, Majelic Young, 
uh, we can identify for you now. Um, people who knew and loved her knew her as Jelly, um, had not been seen since going to visit her mother uh, last September. So when officers get to the house, they speak with a resident there. Um, they start having some concerns about the information that they're getting. Uh, they contact the missing persons unit who initiates a missing persons investigation uh, to find out uh, where Majelic is. Uh, very quickly, they became concerned that there may be foul play involved, so they contacted the homicide unit, and we also brought in the crimes against children unit. So this is really a, a full court press uh, to find out where Majelic was. We knew we needed to determine where she was at. Um, certainly that's concerning when no one can account for a child for that period of time. So as we move forward through the investigation, we started interviewing, um, obviously, her parents, um, people, friends, people that knew her, other people uh, in her life. Um, we had quite a number of people down here on Friday, and even as we were talking, more people were showing up that we didn't even reach out to. They heard we were looking into this, they were concerned for Majelic, and they started showing up trying to share any information that they had that they thought uh, could potentially help with finding what, out, what happened to her. So during these interviews, we eventually developed information that was sufficient for us to obtain a search warrant for the residents in the 2700 block of Braden Drive. Uh, along with crime scene, we began processing the scene, and there we were able to recover uh, human remains in the backyard of a four-year-old girl. I can tell you today we believe those remains belong to Majellet. Now, it's because of... Uh, the investigation and as it's proceeding it's going to take a little bit of time to be able to positively identify her but i can tell you that the totality of the circumstances indicate it is her okay so as you heard right there majelic had been missing for some time she had been missing all the way since last year in september okay she had gone missing after she had went on a visit with her mother and Everything just went out of control since there, and the father has been looking for the child since then. Basically, what is being reported on social media is that the father, he has been pleading out and trying to find his daughter for some time. So according to, you know, the goings-ons in the comments and what the word on the curb is, um, it's saying that this woman, she basically had eight kids of her already so she had eight kids and these kids were dispersed between different baby daddies okay that's word on the curb in the comments now that's what they saying i don't know this girl personally i'm just going off of what i read and what they saying across the internet okay so across the internet is being said that she had eight children and these children were dispersed between some baby daddies she has some some was here or there but this one particular child, Majelic, was basically placed in her care after she had been living with her father since birth. Now, that's information I gathered from the internets and in the comments. So a lot of people are commenting under threads about this story saying that their cousins, nieces, uncles, aunties, some type of relation and they are spilling bits of information. Like each person is given tidbits of information. And so what I've gathered from each person given little bits and pieces is from what they're saying. The girl was staying with the dad since birth. And somehow I guess she went to visit the mom and the mom didn't return her back to the daddy from the comments. And because the dad didn't have an official court order, she was the biological mother. So the police officers couldn't make her hand the child over without a court order that's what the internet's in the comments are saying i don't know these people from a can of paint and i have not talked to anybody who is directly verified you know to be a reliable source to corroborate i'm just collecting the tidbits that i've been able to read and just give y'all a basic what they saying across the across town word on a curb type of thing um and so the mom, I guess, didn't return the child. The father has since then been pleading to find out the whereabouts of his child since October, but not being able to get anything done about it. So on October of um, last year, the father took to his social media and he said, if anyone seen my baby, Jelly, 
anywhere. Please, please, please call me, please. I haven't seen her since her birthday. She's with her mama, but family, y'all know she don't even know her mama. And this M effort took my baby girl, won't let her talk to me. I don't know if she's safe or what. A nigga can't even sleep. Y'all, if you know me, then you know how this ish get when I lose it. So this is what the father had posted back in October 20th of last year, pleading out, trying to find his child. Now, he then came to social media again not too long ago, like a few days ago, and he was pleading yet again for people to figure out what's going on with his child. And I'm guessing that's how then the police at that point then got involved because from the police's own mouth, it says that, you know, they started to get reports of a missing child. Then that's how they went down the rabbit hole and realized that the child was gone. So after they discovered the child was gone, I'm going to let the police officer finish on what he says happens after that. Uh, later in the evening, we charged Majelic's mother, uh, Malika Bennett, with murder, child abuse inflicting serious injury, as well as concealment of a death. Uh, I've worked homicide for most of the last 10 years. I can tell you that, that this case is, is deeply disturbing. It's disturbing to everyone who's worked at crime scene investigators, detectives, everyone involved in this case. Many of us are parents. And it's very difficult to understand how someone could do this to their child, kill their child, and bury them and move on with their life as if nothing happened. I mean, it's really, truly shocked everyone to their core that's, that's had any involvement in this case. Uh, now, it's very early on in the investigation. Uh, I can't answer a lot of your questions, but I'd like to try to take a couple of them right now. Any word on how long those remains were in that property? So we, were at, we believe that Majelic's been there since September. Um, she went for a visit during that time frame, and we believe she's deceased sometime in that window. Um, so early to September, I'm sorry, of 2020. Was the Department of Social Services aware of this, or was their involvement in uh, previous things that only covered them in order So that's a question we certainly have, uh, and we're looking into right now. Uh, detectives are actually working on getting those records and going through those, so I defer to them uh, because we haven't had a chance to look through all those records yet. Uh, Brian, the we uh, 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 her father, you know, her biological father was not there. Was there was her boyfriend or a stepfather in the home, and uh, is he in the clear? Uh, yes, yeah, so there was another male resident uh, at uh, the Brain Drive address. We can say definitively that he's not responsible for his death based on the investigation. We're able to alibi him. And is it rumors that Michelle was kind of kept in like a ball can over the condition of her living situation was very poor? Could you say anything about that? You know, I don't want to get into details yet because we're still in, uh, interviewing other people, so we can't share all the details. What I can tell you is uh, we've charged mom with child abuse, uh, inflicting serious injury. Uh, it was an abusive environment um, and ultimately related, resulted in her death. Are you able to determine how she was abused? That's something we're still waiting on the medical examiner's office to, to share with us. Um, we, obviously, we have information from interviews uh, that are leading us in a particular direction, but the medical examiner's office can hopefully provide us with some information of, of scientific certainty as to what happened. Uh, but that's still pending right now. Okay, so as you see that, that was the deputy basically explaining how they came to know of Majelic's disappearance and how they came to get a warrant, how they got suspicious answers from the residents, and they were like, yo, this sounds kind of weird. Got a warrant, was able to dig up remains of what appeared to be a missing four-year-old girl, and how they said that, you know, the child had been missing since September after she had came um, on a visit with the mom. Now, again, like I said, word on the curb is she was primarily living with the father and um, she had just got to the mom. So now the part on the mom's family, you know, word on the curb on the social media internets, they're basically saying that they would ask her where the child was 
And she would say that the child was with different people. And she would tell them, like, if one person asked, she would say, oh, she's with that person. If that person asked, she'd say, oh, she's with the dad. And then she would do, like, a ping pong effect of saying where the child was. And because a lot of her other children were already shipped off to other baby daddies and she didn't really have, like, her kids anyways like that, so people, I guess it didn't really ping like, OK, this is very, very alarming that we don't see this particular child because the girl had eight kids and a lot of her kids was with their fathers, including Majelic primarily was with her father. And so, you know, people just I guess they thought it was odd, but they didn't really look or dig too deep into it because she ain't had her other kids anyways. So, you know, that kind of was like, oh, well, you know, I guess, I don't know, you know, she's saying that, that the baby here or there. And, you know, it just went around in a circle. Now, the sister of the girl who killed the child, she feels like CPS is responsible and she feels like they are accountable for failing the child. Now, I'm like, well, you her sister now. Nah, so how you feel like they more responsible than a direct family member who should have not? I mean, I don't know. But I guess, again, in their defense, the girl had all her other kids shipped off other places. So, I mean, I guess it, she just was, you know, a thotty that just having kids and dump having them and dumping them. I don't know. But this is what the sister had to say. This could have been for Bennett. Malika Bennett's sister speaking up on behalf of her four year old niece, Majelic, whose own voice was taken away. I feel like social service. I feel like everybody could have done more. Even though her sister Malika had pending charges of child abuse for allegedly leaving her kids home alone in early 2020. She didn't have her a month. She didn't have her a month before everything happened. In August, she noticed Majelic was missing and says her sister told her she'd sent Majelic back to her dad's house. She said that she can't deal with it, that Majelic had some type of issues where she wouldn't eat. And I said, she's probably stressed. She doesn't know you. She's in a whole new environment, a four-year-old. But Friday, police found her bones in the backyard of her mother's house. Warrants I found today say her own mother abused her, leaving her with black eyes, bruises, and swelling. I feel like social service, I feel like everybody could have done more. Okay, so maybe she's holding herself accountable as well in her statement where she says everybody could have done more. I'm assuming she's including herself in that as well, saying that she could have done more as well. And it's just very sad and unfortunate that this little girl lost her life. And if the pressure, it was, if it was too much pressure for her to have her child, like I don't understand why she just didn't give the baby back to the father who wanted her if she didn't want the child. Like, I just don't understand I don't get it, but sometimes some of these women be spiteful and they just, you know, even though they don't want the kid, they don't want you to have them either. I don't know. A mess. It's, it's, it's just crazy. I mean, <laughs> what? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this story. My condolences to um, anybody mourning the loss of Majelic, her family, her loved ones on both sides of the fence. Everybody was sent in different directions on her whereabouts. And now they finally know what happened to her and that she is no longer here. So my condolences to the father who lost his daughter and the family members and friends who lost a loved one to a woman who couldn't I don't I don't I don't I don't even know why she did it I don't I don't even know I was gonna say couldn't handle the pressure but like if you can't handle the pressure then give the baby back and then for her to still her to be pregnant right now with a new baby in her stomach right now it's like you didn't child I don't know I don't have the words but if you guys have not visited my website as of yet Definitely go to my website, www.neekatnight.com, spelled exactly like my channel, to see if there are some goodies that you might like available for purchase, okay? And you can get some money off. I will give you a secret amount off by using the code NIGHTOWL, N-I-T-E-O-W-L. will save you some coins on your next purchase of my website, okay? And that's on period poo. See you guys in the comments. Peace.